Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon 111, and welcome back to Bug Fables. We are in the Golden Settlement, where there's a festival going on. Last time we explored a bit of the town and managed to win some prizes that are offerings at the festival. So today we're going to drop them off and see what happens. The offerings. I can sense them. You've brought both? You would wish to start the ceremony then? Yes, we're ready. Only three may perform the ceremony. Two bugs holding each blessing and I. So one of us will have to sit this out. Well, we owe the offerings to you two. You should go. No way, you haven't had any fun. You're going. B, thank you. So is it going to be Kabu and B or Kabu and Lee? Um, let's say Kabu and B. Let's do it. O oh, Goddess Venus, may this ceremony please you and grant us a bountiful harvest for the following year. May our battle shake the earth and bring joy and dance to your roots. It's a battle? Now that's my style of ceremony. Let us spar for the goddess. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I'm glad I have V, because she'll be able to... Well, I guess Kabu could Pebble Toss as well now. But it looks like she's up high. Um, Acolyte Aria. I should probably spy her, actually. Let's start with that. Let's see what we're up against. Twenty-six hit points, no defense. She can summon huge vines? Maybe I should start praying too. Or use a beamerang to hit her while she's up in the air. Okay, so I think since I've done that, I've kind of trapped myself now into using... Oh right, what is pep talk? Oh, it's like a resurrect. All right, uh, but I want to use pebble toss. Oh, dealing one damage to any enemy. But at least, it, well, hmm. I could also taunt. Since V is currently in front. Yeah, let's taunt and just make sure that our tank is going to tank the damage. Alright, get ready to block. Oh, I did not. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like we might as well go kind of all out on skills and different things. Hurricane Toss. Ignoring one defense, damaging and flipping any. Hmm. I think Tornado Toss might be good enough since there's no defense to need to ignore. So let's do a Tornado Toss. Alright, I managed to deal four damage. That feels pretty good. Kabu, actually, you do have a skill. Heavy Strike. Um, yeah, let's see how much damage we can do with this. Alright, that was also four. And she's attacking with the vine. Alright. Didn't see it coming, so I couldn't really do anything about it. Still has 17 hit points. Um, I'm gonna need an item at some point. Remind me what items I have in my inventory. Uh, I have Crunchy Leaf. I have a feeling that the thumbnail dart isn't going to work on a boss. Blazing Hot Berry that boosts an ally's attack for two turns. That could be good. Um, let's try using the Spicy Berry on Kabu. And now with his boosted attack, do I want to use the skill of Heavy Strike again? Let's try the normal one. Because I might need to use V's Secret Stash here in a moment. Eh, it only did three. I can move Kabu to the front. Ah, I still didn't manage to dodge that. Um, let's move Kabu to the front. 
Let's have him attack again while he has extra attack power, and V will use Secret Stash to heal herself, I think? We'll try that. Alright. Alright, so I dealt four damage. And V is going to... Actually, I could use a Crunchy Leaf and then I'll still have... Yeah, let's do that, actually. I think I'd prefer to use items. Alright, so save yourself. Alright. Oh boy. I don't know what's happening. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Alright, I did manage to block the last one, but it doesn't matter, and Kabu's down anyway. I feel like I maybe was not meant to win this battle. Um, V... Could use a magic seed to resurrect Kabu. But I think I'm okay with, like, losing the battle. Let's just spy on Venus's bud. To learn about it. Ten hit points, no defense. I saw this in a storybook once. wonder if they drop rare items. Maybe they'll get mad if they find out I heard it. Plus thinking, we're fighting. And it heals, so you need to, like, take it out first, I guess. And she just powered herself up, and so we're still fighting. Um... I mean, I guess if I'm gonna have any shot, I might as well resurrect Kabu. And then Kabu can... I guess just go after the bud. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. V is down. Yeah, so I'm definitely losing this battle. Uh, hopefully we're meant to lose. And right, I can't attack the other thing because it's in the air. Unless, unless I use... Uh, Pebble Toss. So let's do that. Alright, so we got it out of the air. And yeah, attacking the Acolyte wouldn't help anyway. Ah. Okay, well now we can at least attack this. Okay, I did do some blocking there, so I'm barely still alive, but now I'm dead. Alright, so now what happens? Really? Alright, that's a lose condition. Change loadout and retry, reload last save. Okay, uh, maybe I need to level up. I could also choose a different party. Um, but let's try other things. So, welcome back. Can I go- oh, I can't- mm. I can't- mm. I can't go fight other guys to level up. How am I going to win this? I could purchase other items, maybe? I only have 13 berries, though. Uh, if I use leaf, maybe something is weak to ice. Alright, so let's try... Hmm. And I could have changed my metals and I failed to do so. Although I don't know I have anything that's going to help. So let's try Kabu and Leaf. Um, I'm not sure how this is gonna- I guess with ice, maybe I could freeze one or both, and so that might be something that's going to help. Let's imagine so. Alright, so she hops up here, right. Um... Can Leaf attack? Leaf can attack. Oh, the vine? Interesting. The vine is like a thing that can be attacked. Okay. Alright, let's have Leaf attack the vine, sure. Um, yeah. Hmm. 
All right, let's have Kabu attack the vine. Okay, we destroyed the vine and she fell down. Now I feel good. And she powered herself up. And she had what? 26 hit points or something, I want to say? I'm not going to spy again. So let's go all out. So I'm going to skill. Heavy strike. That was worth five. Great. And... I'm actually going to also then use my Spicy Berry on Kabu. So that he'll be super strong. And can do a couple more huge heavy strikes, hopefully. Still don't know how to time that. Uh, so let's go to skills. Heavy strike. It was still only worth five, despite the fact that he was powered up. Interesting. Okay, um... In that case, powering up probably doesn't worth it. Let's save Icefall for when there's two enemies on the screen. So we'll do an attack. I only did one from the back row. I did block that, but not the second one. Alright, and so... I guess I'm gonna try normal attack. Now it's doing three. Okay. Because I'm no longer empowered, I guess. Um, yeah, let's hold on to my skill points for now. Well... Let's make sure we stay alive, so let's go ahead and eat a crunchy leaf. Okay, and block, block. I blocked one of them anyway. Okay, so blocking is definitely helping. Um, Kabu's really low on hit points now. And I don't really have a way to heal them, so I should use all the skills as much as possible. So let's heavy strike. I can also move him to the back. Let's do the heavy strike first. Alright, so that's another five. I've hit her for... I've hit her for a lot of her hit points already, I'm pretty sure. And so yeah, let's go all out. Uh, let's go ahead and do an Ice Fall then. Uh, cool. And so I think she basically lost a turn like that. And let's do another Heavy Strike, sure. Let's just go all out. Oh, I did it too early. That's a shame. Alright. Are you dead yet? Yes! I did it! We did it! Hooray! So, not spying, knowing about her attacks, and when to block. The combination of those two helped. I guess in the worst case, I could have also taken off the hard hits medal, which makes everybody harder. Um, but I'm pretty sure we get rewards every time we beat a boss with the hard hits metal on, and so I really want to try to leave it on. Fierce Battle. I'm sure Venus enjoyed it. Respected Acolyte, have we earned passage to the Golden Hills? It's all up to the goddess. Oh, Venus, if you enjoyed our display, please grant us passage to the Golden Hills. And Venus says... Yes, apparently. The path is opened. Beyond this point lies the sacred Golden Hills. It opened all by itself. Crazy technology around here. Whatever is your business there, Venus has granted you passage. Well, whatever. We did it. That artifact will be ours in no time. Soul relaxed. Passage open. Mission success, we'd say. Let's tread carefully, team. We're heading on sacred ground. It won't be as simple as it seems. Would have been nice to get some sleep, but we can do it. No worries. We beat Snake Mouth, right? Indeed, let's go. I do wonder the way that that moved up. Can I get there from the hotel balcony now? I just wonder if it also like created a passage for me to get somewhere. So I'm gonna quickly pop up here to the hotel balcony. And can I like jump up here? No, it's still just a nice view. All right, can I jump off? No, it's just gonna give you the nice view again. All right. 
Uh, these people have passed out from the festivities. <laughs> okay. Fair. Uh, you know what I should do? I should save and heal. Because... Oh, it did give me a full heal, but my TP is still out. Interesting. Interesting that it would choose to do that. In any case, I'm gonna save. And I feel like I'm slightly underleveled. I am curious to see if I go back out here, if the enemies outside will have respawned. Do we ever talk to you? Yeah. Excuse me, extremely round beetle. He's got a little bow tie. It's like a leafy green. Don't interrupt me, I'm gonna move this rock. This rock is extremely heavy. You'll hurt your horn. I'm a fully grown tangerine. <laughs> He's like a tangerine, I get it. I can do it, I can move this rock. Let the little dude, little dude, blah. let the little dude do his job, Kabu. I'm that little, I'll fight you right here. It's so cute, how can we feel threatened at all? I came from a very far land, from the right, to prove my might. I'll break this rock, then I'll be the strongest. It works that way. I admire your spirit, but horns cannot withstand such pressure. You should take care. My horn can never break, because I'm strong. Now I'm going right back to work. It was cute at the start, now I'm kind of worried. <laughs> Alright. If he does move the rock, it looks like it's going to open up a new passage for us. So we kind of want to encourage him. Um, I think that is... There's just like an area out here where there is an overlook or something. All to see here. I want to see if enemies respawn out here. And if they do, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. Uh, I can do that off camera, so I'll see you guys again in a short bit. Alright, I did enough grinding in order to get another level up. And now I have to pick a stat to boost. I kind of want all of them. Um... I think teamwork points are still the best. Like, I have some good skills, and I just don't get to use them very much during battle, so I'm going to take plus three teamwork points. Oh! Leaf learned Frigid Coffin. So we learned another thingy. That's great. I've also picked up a few more minor items and some berries. And there was also something I've noticed over here that I haven't actually tried out yet. Uh, so I want to try it out. Which is... Nope. Oh. Well, we're under attack again. I guess we can try out Frigid Coffin here together. Let's see. Um, let's start by having V move the guy in the back down to the ground in case Frigid Coffin needs to attack someone on the ground, and then I want to try it out. So it's a skill. Frigid Coffin encases an enemy in ice with a great chance to freeze. Can only target grounded enemies. Okay, well I'm glad I knocked someone down. Uh, but I think I'd actually prefer to freeze the guy in front, because he's more dangerous. And actually, in that case, Kabu attacking would unfreeze, so let's have Kabu attack first. Okay, and now that he's done some damage, now we'll try Frigid Coffin on the guy in front. Press a button shown at the end of the countdown, then press the button shown in order. Oh boy. Here goes nothing. Z. Down, Z, left. Got him. And I failed the block. Oh, cool, and that guy stayed encased in ice. Okay, that's really good, actually. Uh, so in that case, let's attack this guy. And this should kill this guy off. And Kabu, I think, deals extra damage to guys who are frozen. So this might kill this guy off, too. Yeah! Alright, neat. Okay, I feel like my level is a little bit more appropriate for where I'm at. And here's what I noticed. This thing that I couldn't turn to change the bridge back, I got that powered up beamerang. And so if I throw it correctly... There we go. I can hold the button. Yeah, and now it's spinning around. So, and then if I let go of the button, the beamerang just comes back to me. Okay, and now the bridge is here. Are there more enemies to fight over here? Uh, there are. So since I'm here and I have the opportunity, I guess I'll grind a little bit more. Uh, but then I'll meet you guys back in town and we'll actually go forward to the Golden Hills. So I'll see you in a moment. Alright, I'm back in town. I finished fighting and I purchased an aphid egg. I want to cook it at the chef person over here. Because I could use a healing item and I imagine cooking it will make it better. 
You've never tasted a dish of this caliber, I'm sure. It's a fried egg. Six HP to an ally. Yeah, okay. That is good. Okay. Oh, and we got, right, in our logbook, it tells us the recipe. So here are my current items. I've got honey drops, I've got the fried egg now, and a bunch of hard seeds. Um, actually, I wonder what happens if you cook a hard seed. Let's find out. What will it be this time? I've got so many of these, like, even if it doesn't cook up into something. We'll see. It does. It turns into... Roasted berries. Wow. Two hit points to the party. So that's like six hit points total. Okay. Um, that's actually good enough that I am going to cook one more of these guys up. All right. So I have lots of good things in my inventory. I'm stronger than I was before. I think we are ready to adventure forward. So let's do it. Uh, before I go forward, I'm going to save once again. Yes. All right, save is complete. Let's go on ahead. Can I talk to you again? Maybe this grants you what we desire. We desire finding the artifact. Is there anything hidden over here? Doesn't seem like I'm trying to press up against the walls in case there's like a hidden, hidden back area or something. Oh, there's another save here. Ooh, and crazy music. Why would I want to go to here? Question mark? There's a hole. Something could fit in here. Uh, oh, I still have the moon offering and the sun offering. Interesting. Uh, does a water book fit in there? No. All right, so something goes in a hole here at the Golden Sentiment. Visitors? How nice of the two of you to come here. That's like the Venus bud that we saw in the battle. Goodness. Eep, the plant can talk. It can't count, though. Huh? So there's three of you? I see. Hmm. So that's how it is. So what brings you here? Come to take in the sights? We're here for the artifact. Fame and riches. Hmm. Such reckless greed. How impure. Impure. Dear plant, we assure you there is more at play than mere riches. Yeah, right. You bugs always say the same. Nice going, B. If you want to get the artifact, you'll have to get to the top. Let's see if some fly traps don't eat you before then. Yee hee 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 hee. V, announcing openly you are here to take treasure wasn't very smart. I mean, I wasn't going to lie or anything. We're sure that's the reason. Whatever, you heard it. Treasure's at the top, so let's get climbing. Let's be careful. Something feels off about this place. Um, so is the top to the right, or is the top over here? Or is this another hole? That's another hole that the explorer's permit does not fit in. Okay, so maybe we're going to get a bunch of items that go in these holes, is my guess. And also, I didn't get a chance to look to the left. There is also a way to go to the left. Um... But there's treasure to the right. <laughs> but now I'm here. And there's berries. And I wonder if there's going to be a dead... Uh, oh, gosh, it's a chompy guy. Alright, I did successfully block. I blocked too early on that guy. Okay, we have a new guy to spy. However, I would prefer to... Mm, I'm not going to be able to take out the guy in the back before I spy this guy, so I guess we'll spy him soon. Um, let's imagine that Kabu's going to do good damage in the front, though, so let's go ahead and use him as an attack. And then... Uh, let's have V spy, I think, and we'll have Leaf try and attack just to see if he's like weak to ice or something. It's Chomper. It's got one defense. They bite you hard and heal while doing it, I see, and so we can, like, life suck. And they summon tiny guys? Oh boy. So I want to take him out as fast as possible, is what I just heard. So maybe I want to use a skill, such as Frigid Coffin. 
All right, I have to press all these buttons right, so let's see if I can do it. Left, right, Z. Did it! Oh, and it also killed him. And then I blocked too early. Okay. Uh, Kabu can totally just flip this guy. And now that he doesn't have defense, um, these guys should be able to wreck him. So, let's do a thing. There's three more, and V, I think, can finish him off. Oh! Except V screwed up the attack. It was all of V's fault. Totally not my fault. Alright, so we took more damage than necessary. These things happen. Alright, well, we found a new enemy. I'm still curious to see if this is about to turn into a dead end. It looks like maybe it is. Because I can't get across there. And I can't go down... Oh, no, I could get across there if I jumped across the Venus flytrap thing again. So let's try it. Yeah, this looks like an alternate way to go to the top, maybe. And also, V, use your boomerang and explain to us what these things do. So this one turns that around. Oh. I think that's where I wanted it to go. And so this, oh, this is going to be tougher. Because I think I need to be standing here. So I think I need to do something like... Um... Yeah, this. And then let go of it? Yeah! Okay, I did a thing. Go me. Go me. I did a thing. Alright. Uh, it's another hole. I lack things that go there, so far as I know. And this might be a dead end, so this might be a place to come back to when we get said thing. Oops! You can just fall out there, by the way. You have to jump. Um, I can't tell... Like, if I turned that facing a different direction and it was coming toward the camera, would it have helped me? Also, this brings me to a new place I haven't been, right? Because I was previously more in the foreground? No, this is the same place I was. Oh, but there is a way to go up there if I turn this again. Oh, hmm. Okay. I'm starting to see the puzzle now. So, I'd want to be over there and then turn this one? How would I do that, even? Can I... I don't think V's Beamerang can reach all the way from here over to where that crank is. Yeah. And... Oh! I got eaten by the flytrap. Um, oh, well, all right, if I simply do this, I don't know why I didn't see this before, I need to turn it farther. All right, this is, we're going to imagine not as easy as it looks in order to make me feel better. Okay, so if I just gone straight ahead, I didn't see that I could jump up here. Don't stand on any one of those for any too long. Okay, now I'm up here. Oh! This was just for a crystal berry. Okay. Okay, well, I got a crystal berry. I discovered some more about some puzzly things over there, but it does look like I need to go this way. Uh, did I take more damage? I have. Before we move on, yes, let's hit this and save. I appreciate how frequent those are. Okay, so now we're all healed back up. So now let's try to ascend to the top over this way. And see what we find. Uh, more of these turny thingies. So we have to use the upgraded beamerang to have the... It's still hard to get it to stop in the right location. There we go. So if the beamerang stops, ugh, and then you have to wait for the appropriate amount of time. There we go. Fortunately, the bridges seem to only have two positions, and they kind of rock themselves into position one or position two. Uh, is there somewhere down here? No. 
And so I guess I need... Okay, I think I see what's gonna happen here. I'm going to freeze this. Kabu is gonna push it onto the bridge. So that we can take it along with us. And then we're gonna need to turn the bridge again. Oops. I need to leave the boomerang out, though. And then... Use this block of ice over here somewhere, somehow. I'm not sure why I wanted this, but it seems like a thing to do. Uh, if I get into battle, is the block of ice still gonna be there? Also, I got chomped! Ouch. I blocked too early. Alright, I finally got one good block. V is taking a lot of damage. Let's switch party members and put Kabu in the front. Okay. Uh, what did I learn about the choppers? I don't remember. They can summon little choppers, and so I was scared of them. I remember. So in that case, uh, I probably want to use V's super freezy thing. So let's get out, uh, or not V, um, Leaf's super freezy skill. Ice fall that might hit all of them. So let's see if I can manage to target all of them. I froze the middle guy, who's not as dangerous, but at least I froze somebody, so I guess we'll be happy with that. And V should be able to finish this guy off, even from the back row. Alright. That guy summoned the little guy, and that was his turn. Okay. Uh, little guy does not look as dangerous. Let's see how much damage Kabu can do. He might be able to one-shot it. Not quite, but if V does another Ice Fall... And I kind of aim toward the back. And I just hit the guys in the back, but that's fine, because now V can finish off this guy. And the other guys are frozen. Okay. And now Kabu wants to flip this guy over. And let's see. I'm kind of tempted to do another Ice Fall, honestly. I got a whole bunch of TP so that I could do these things. So let's do it. I'm going to Ice Fall all enemies. Nice. Alright, we killed him. V's kind of low on hit points, so I didn't want her to take any more damage, if possible. Is there like some kind of secret over there in the back? Not that I can tell. And then... I do have this block of ice, but what would I do with it? I would use it to get up here. Got it. Uh, so I need to switch to Kabu once again. And actually face the block of ice. And push it across here. Oh, this is going to be scary, because I have to jump on this thing. Oops. Okay, well. <laughs> Don't jumpy. Uh, oh boy. Can I rescue this? Yes. Okay, can I get... Oops. <laughs> oh no, the ice went away. No. There's something up there that I definitely want. Okay, it took some time, but I managed to get back over here. And I found a wooden crank. It should fit into a swap somewhere to control nearby mechanisms. I see. Okay, understood. I visited the save in between now and the last time you saw me. Um, okay, so wooden crank is going to allow us to turn these mechanisms by... Ugh. There we go. By sticking it in the little holes, I presume. And so, for example, there's a hole. Something could fit in here. So if I put the wooden crank in here, I wonder if I can take it back out again? I hope so. Or maybe there's going to be multiple cranks. But then I can use that to come up here. Neat. And what did I find? A way to go. With more enemies and all kinds of things that I didn't save after getting the wooden crank. Alright. Um, so I might want to go back and do that. And I'm also curious to see if I can take the wooden crank back out. 
or if we have to get a different one for each thingy. Uh, that guy can fly right across this, and I don't know that I can go across this. I guess I'm willing to find out. No, if I hit the spikes, that is a platforming fail. So it doesn't seem that I can go that way yet. Can I remove the wooden crank? Uh, no. So... Didn't I need it over here? Was there a way to go? Could I have made the jump across over there? Perhaps. Okay, let's not make the same mistake as before. Um, let's go ahead and save. And let's imagine that I just missed that there was a place that I could jump across over here. Also, can I go to the left? Doesn't seem like I can go to the left. Oh, and this thing goes back down quickly, so now I have to throw this again. So yeah, I think the platforming puzzles in this game like this are going to be my least favorite aspect of the game. Did I try going to the right? I can't go to the right. And there's nothing in that stump. Okay, so the question I want to know is, can I just jump across? Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if I can freeze this guy and jump across on top of him. Yes! It only occurred to me because I saw this, uh, this water drop over here. And so I was already thinking about freezing. And then, um, then it occurred to me that maybe I could do something different. Okay, and so it looks like if I knock this down here, and then, yeah, then freeze this guy. Cool. Oh, that brings me back. <laughs> All right, so don't do that. I learned a thing. Come back here, little guy. Okay. Oh, crap. All right. Uh, and I lost my other ice block. Okay, right. So each time you fail the platforming puzzle, it seems like you lose your ice block, which I'm not super fond of, but what you gonna do? I pushed that too far out into the front. Hold on. Let's go. Oops. Yeah, not gonna be super fond of this. Am I just not aiming in the right spot? There we go. Okay. So slightly more forward, and then mostly to the right. That'll get me in the right spot. Get Leaf ready. Son of a gun. All right, like four tries later, I'm back over here. I do see enemies that I might want to stun. No, it's just gonna be more platforming. Where am I eventually headed? Can I? I can't reach that to use the boomerang from there. So it does seem like I need to platform once more over in that direction. All right, so. Yeah, I don't think going right is correct, so I think going toward the back is where I want to go. So if I do this, then can I jump there? Nope. <laughs> uh, did I push it too far? If I create another ice... Uh, oh, I didn't manage to create another ice. Okay, that makes the first ice block go away. So I think maybe I pushed it too far in that direction, maybe. Although I don't know that I can control it, but this one seems better. And then I think I might need Leaf to freeze this other guy. Okay. Son of a gun. <laughs> All right, I really don't like this. Okay, five tries later, I managed to get here. And so what does this do for me? Um, V can boomerang this thing. Which appears to be spinning the bridge over to my right, but I didn't manage to actually spin it. Uh, so let's try to... There we go. Spin the bridge like that. And then I guess I use this to get back? Yes. Okay, and so now I have a bridge. And it's going to get me to where there's another crank. Uh, except how am I going to get there? 
Like, you can't just chunk that. Uh, if I had another piece of ice. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out, since that seems to be, like, the whole gimmick of this place. So if I push this all the way over on the bridge, then it'll give me a little bit of extra height to jump off the bridge. Okay, I think that's as close as I'm going to get, so let's hope this works. It does not work. Uh, if that doesn't work, what else could I do? Could I use it to stand on the ledge of the bridge? I can stand here, but I don't think that helps me. And I can't seem to make that jump. Uh, maybe if I'm standing there, then V can use the Beamerang. There we go. Big crank, top half. Half of a big wooden crank. You should look for the other half. Okay. I don't think there's a way to get to that back area. Is there a way to the front here? No. So I think I am done with this section. So I am ready to go back here. And never come back to this place again. <laughs> um, Alright, Leaf has to do a little bit more freezing. Actually, do I need to? I might just be able to jump across this. Yeah, we can just do that. Okay. So, I got half of a wooden crank. There's another half of a wooden crank somewhere. I keep hoping that these berries are going to have, like, a crunchy leaf in them or something. Because those are pretty great. So, I have to find where the other half is, and I'm not sure where to find that right now. But I did get a half, and that is progress. So, I think we will save and call that an episode for now. <laughs> Alright, not enjoying the platforming part, but I don't think there's too many long sections like this, hopefully. Um, yeah, I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon with more Bug Fables. For now, bye-bye.